In the early days of mining, the only thing that was brought to the surface was the valuable ore. This would mean that just about anything transported underground, from daily waste to large machinery, was often left there once the mining operation was complete. Over time, the mining industry evolved and realized that changes had to be made. Large amounts of waste started coming back to the surface, but was there still room to improve? With the focus on production, on safety, uh, sometimes, uh, and, and on environment as well, Sometimes this is an overlooked uh, aspect of it, the industrial and domestic waste production and collection and recycling. So here's how this mining waste is managed today. Industrial and domestic waste is gathered in bins like this, all over the mine, and taken to A&M's underground sorting facility. Here the bins are empty so that they can be properly sorted. Look at all the different types of waste in this pile. Let's start out by separating the plastics so they can be properly recycled. This includes most any plastics used underground, from mining waste to water bottles. There's an aerosol can. Is there anything in it? Nope. However, many cans are stored in a different area because they still contain chemicals. These, along with partially used pails of irritants and waste mining compounds will be transported to the proper disposal facility. Oil filters are crushed by this large machine to extract all of the oil and these pails will be left here to drain all day until they are empty. Would you believe that up to 5% of the oil can remain in these pails after they are used? Scrap metals are highly recoverable, so these will be transported to facilities that will melt them down and be reused in other products. What remains is a fraction of the original waste which will now be transported to landfill. After the waste is sorted, it is then compacted with this large machine, reducing the volume by up to 80%. This cuts down on the amount of loads needed to transport the waste, greatly increasing efficiency and safety for the workers. Remember that big pile of plastics? Those are also compacted and sent to the recycling facility. This is a full load of waste. Imagine how much easier it is to transport this than seven bins of loose waste. Now all that remains is to secure it for transport. Valet themselves have taken a progressive approach with us and have been a great partner on moving forward with improving their logistical capabilities which helps increase their productivity and their profitability while at the same time enhancing their safety and truly being environmental leaders with this program.